What's up, guys? My light's flipping out again. That should fix most of the problem. Okay. I've been out here for two hours. Um, building something so barely related to e-cigs that uh, it almost doesn't count. But it goes directly in line with uh, my show and tell video last night. Which, if you watched the video and you saw me uh, talk about the new ingredient that I have uh, been told about, you guys overwhelmed the fuck out of me asking what it is. So, it it is now in the description for the show and tell video if you want to know. That's uh, as far as I care about it. Um, I've got a lot of shit I've done tonight. Um, I showed you guys the uh, converter last night to uh, convert well, it's the automatic butt boost converter. Uh, set it for your output voltage of whatever you want. Good God, that thing is jacking with the camera. Is there anything I can do to help it at all? Maybe. That helps. Um, any input voltage from like three, I believe it's three to 35 volts in, um, one and a half to 31 volts out. At a couple amps max. Um, so, I finally got that all wired up and finished. I dug out my little 5 volt, um, 500 milliamp hour um, lipo charger to uh, see what it can do. Then I figured I'd go ahead and show it off to you guys. This is basically the charging circuit that I intend to use. Um, I'll clean up some wiring and connections and everything, but uh, this is the basic idea. Seeing as how I don't have an available 12 volt power supply that isn't a battery, I've got my 12 volt nickel metal hydride battery right here um, running my bug boost converter, which is uh, barely warm at all. Um, got that running. The bug boost converter is running this little guy right here. This is a 5 volt, 500 milliamp hour single cell lipo charger and my 15,000 milliamp hour lipo. Um, technically speaking, capacity wise between these two, they're about the same. Um, it's really just a test of uh, current and uh, all the other stuff that goes along with it. So this chain of wiring here No, it's not as hot as I thought it was. Uh, this is all charging this battery. So any 4.2 volt battery that I have, um, I can now charge off of this system. So uh, if I got a whole bunch of 18650 bays and hooked them up, uh, I would definitely need one of these per bay because that's a lot of freaking charging for that one little circuit board. Um, but it works flawlessly. Um, no issues whatsoever. I'm actually... Where the hell did I put my voltmeter? Ah. I was going to test my current draw again before I got too crazy about it. Now that it's all up to operating temperature. 1.12 amps from my supply battery and uh, the actual current uh, okay, current from the buck boost converter to the charging board, 0.444 amps, and current from the charging board to the battery. Point two eight four amps. So, very low charging current. But, everything is working um, which is fantastic because I built a new 2S battery tonight um, all of those ultra fire 18650s that I've been waving around um, I finally put them together I only had um, 
14 to use. I've, I've got some others scattered around doing other things. So I had 14 that I was willing to put into a cell. I used some of this uh, fantastic um, pre-tinned copper bus wire, I guess you could call it. Um, soldered them all up. It is currently charging. I put a 2S balance charger on it. Um, working flawlessly. 16,000 milliamp hour, 8.4 volt lithium ion battery. Uh, extremely lightweight. Much, much, much smaller than uh, my nickel metal hydride battery. And uh, more watt hours, too. Great, right? I think so. I've got an hour and a half, or a, a solid hour, of uh, me putting that battery together. If you guys want to watch any of that, you can. Um, I can post it if you want it, but uh, it's about as boring as it gets. Um, an hour of me soldering this, soldering this, soldering this, turning it, soldering this, soldering this, um, telling you not to do this at home, soldering this, soldering this. I mean, uh, there's not a whole lot there. It's very monotonous. I purposely made that monotonous. Um, that's pretty much it. This thing is kicking ass, as it should be. No issues whatsoever. The best part about this circuit is if I took the 5 volt little charging board off of here that runs off of a micro USB power and hooked this battery directly to my buck boost converter at 4.2 volts, I could turn it up to 12 volts and charge this. Universal charging. Um, obviously if I went back and forth it would just discharge everything and be completely worthless. But for testing purposes of everything, make sure everything functions, um, that's fantastic. I can now take anywhere from 4.2 volts to 12 volts and charge anything in between as long as it's not a multi-series battery. In that case I have to use the LiPo charger but I can just give it 12 volts directly from the uh, converter which I have a larger 100 watt converter on the way. Um, it should be here soon and uh, it's going to power a 4 bay 5 volt um, USB hub which will be a, a 20 watt hub and then I'll have 60 watts left over to power the LiPo charger. Lots of really cool shit going on. A um, lot of soldering, a lot of heat shrink tubing, um, very monotonous soldering batteries together but I have 10 more 18650s I'm about to order. Um, I will be making a 26,000 milliamp hour 4.2 volt battery out of that. That will be the main battery. Um, I've got these others which are fantastic. Um, this one has a dedicated place that it's going to go um, out of sight but not out of mind. Um, it's far too heavy to put into the pack into the bug out bag so it's got its own special place to go um, the lithium ion 2S battery is going to go into the bag as my new daily charging battery um, I shouldn't have to even touch an electrical outlet for anything even my phone is running off of uh, the USB adapter for the 2S LiPo um, I shouldn't even have to touch an electrical outlet for at least a week at a time now And once I get the solar panel charging section going, um, hopefully I'll never have to again. Anyways, uh, vape on guys.